Hi everyone, Helen here from Helen Kirkman Crafts and welcome to my craft space. Uh, today's video is all about Tonic Studios Designer Choice uh, dies and this is number 10. And this, this die set is to create your own memory book. It's really great because all the dies that you need to be creating your own memory book are available uh, in this particular die set. Uh, Designer's Choice, if you've never heard of it before, is a set of dies that Tonic release uh, once a month and these are limited editions so once they are gone they are gone but I've put the details in how you can purchase yours now in the description below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around the camera show you what you get in your your die set and then also uh, give you a little bit of inspiration for when your set arrives. So this is how you'll receive, receive your designer choice die set. comes in this little clear packet um, that has holes down the side so you can add that to a to a folder if you want to. It also has this little tab at the top which is slightly elongated so you can write what uh, you could put like a little label and write what die set this is. So this is one of the uh, tonic memory books and it comes complete. You can make a whole memory book with what you get here. Obviously, you can start adding your own dies and things like that, tags, whatever you want to make it more. But if you just literally want to make the pages and the outside, um, the sort of front cover and back cover, um, you can with this. What you'll get is you'll get two styles of um, front covers. So one with sort of a scalloped edge and then one that's slightly different here yeah. and what they have they have um cut edges all round except for one piece and that means that you've got sort of two options that you can do with these memory books you can cut into the card and leave this longer so you can make your spine as long as you want and cut it off at the end to however long you want to or you get this little piece here which can create um holes so you're going to sort of lay those down together like that. And this, again, has got one cutting edge, oh, that side, one cutting edge and one non-cutting edge. So you would get one long page like that with the holes in that then you could thread twine or ribbon or rings um, to make the binding of that book. So there's two options there, which is great, um, because if, say, you wanted to make a memory book with a longer spine, so you've got more pages, you'd just cut this into the card and cut it off much longer either side i would recommend if you are going to use um the holes what i would recommend is maybe using some low tack tape or something just to hold the two together in place when you put them on your die cutting machine it just means that if you want to cut out lots of pages you'll know that it will be exactly the same for all of the pages the back and the front uh, because you've stuck those two together as you, you die cut them then you get different layers so you can start making um pockets and things like that for example this one again has no um, fourth edge which means you could actually cut say for example cut this pocket here and then you could overlay so that you have them both on like that and what you'd get is you'd then get a piece of paper coming uh, sorry a piece of card with a little pocket attached because it wouldn't cut here so it would stay in so that's great you've got that you then also got slightly smaller pockets if you want to then you get the sentiment here and you get the shadow die as well and this is moment in time which i think is lovely sentiment uh, there we go and then you get little pieces so that you could tab your memory book together. You also get little dies where one of them says, pull me. So if you wanted to have like a little piece that you're pulling out, you then also get these edge dies here for decorative purposes. Or, you know, if you wanted to create one big image with all of them, that would look quite cool. And then finally, you get these here, which is eight reinforcement sort of um, circles, which you then stick onto your card here to reinforce that when you're sending the twine through. So all in all, there's a lot you can do here. And as I say, this is a complete set. So you would be able to make a complete memory book. But say, for example, you've got others, you can bring in your dies, which I will show you when I show you how to put mine together. I brought in a, through a few other tonic dies to use as tabs and things. OK, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this aside and I'm going to start um, showing you how to put your memory book together.
So there it is finished and I just put some twine in here. Um, it took a while so if I actually did it again I'd probably use a needle to thread that through uh, whereas I did it with my hands and it took a little bit of time. So I just recommend putting whatever material you're going to put in here. Pop it into a needle first like twine or ribbon or whatever or you could always just use some rings to hold those together. But here we go, we've got our little book and what I like about this because I've used ribbon I could untie the ribbon and uh, sorry because I've used twine I could untwine um, uh, just at the back where I've tied it I could untie that and add extra pages if I wanted to um, but we've got all our little oops, pop that up straight there we go we've got all our little tab little pockets with our tags in that we could start adding things to all these spaces here where I could add pictures if I wanted to or write little messages I really enjoyed actually this is the first uh, memory book I've made and I've really enjoyed making that um, and really happy with how it's turned out thanks for, so much for watching I really enjoyed making this little uh, memory book using designer choice kit number 10 um, it was really fun and I'm going to look forward to putting little journaling notes and things like that and also popping little photos in my little memory book. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed that and found it useful. Um, if you want to be notified when my next video is up, if you hit like and subscribe, you'll get a notification. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Helen Kirkham Crafts. Thanks again. Bye.